Okay, so we're getting the last few bugs ironed out here and there. I don't know why, but randomly my webcam just stopped. Just was like, yeah, maybe, there it is. Okay. It was just randomly like, maybe I won't be a webcam. Is that a thing? Okay. Alrighty, so unfortunately it didn't save any of the settings that I had set it up to have so it looks bad now too on top of all of that so hopefully some of this helps and try to adjust some of the settings on it but I want to spend all day working on that so yeah, there's that all right all right, so welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream, Social Omelette. Welcome to the stream, Dave Microwaves. Welcome to the stream, uh, Dnetics. Welcome to the stream, Emily Harrison. Welcome to the stream, uh, 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 one more person, uh, Squibble Wiz. That's right, Squibble Wiz. Um, so let me know if uh, things look awful or if it's, like, really bad because currently, uh... I've been having some trouble with my computer, and it's like all of it is the computer just being a jerk. Like, uh, legitimately, it has just decided to, for some reason, it's using like all of the computer's resources to run the things that I normally run. I don't know why. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't ever have this problem, so I'm assuming that it is a bunch of stupid things that the computer. Okay, all right, that's, that's okay, this looks better than before. Let's turn the, the game audio down, because I think in comparison that's too loud. Okay, so what do we, we got it, okay, everyone can hear it now. Okay, good, I can hear it, you can hear it, everyone can hear it. Okay, we'll reload the game. <laughs> oh, streams. I don't think I've ever seen, like, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a stream go off without a hitch, as far as, like, all of the settings are concerned. Um, even, like, the biggest professionals I've seen most of them have like trouble with like their big 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 live charity live streams and stuff like that so oh, it's super frustrating hopefully I can see some of the chat on here but the video is not coming through on my phone for some reason so hopefully that's something I can fix okay this looks more Proper. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. So now I should be able to go go away on my phone. Okay, there we go. All right. Chat should pull up on there. All righty. Okay. So I think everyone can hear me now, more or less. 
Uh, if you can't hear me now, it, it appears that everyone else can hear me, so I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> Alrighty, now we want three plasteel ingots, three enamel glass, and a lubricant. Because today's mission is to build the uh, the Cyclops. So I'm going to need three titanium ingots. For, what, what is happening to me? Why am I dying? What the heck? What, what the heck? What just happened? What just happened? Why did I just die randomly while I was standing there? I was just, nothing happened to me. I was just standing there and I just suddenly died. What, you, what the drugs? What the actual drugs? Okay, whatever. Well, this is whatever, okay. All right, so like I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted by that, uh, we're gonna need a bunch of uh, Cyclops bits. Oh, you know what? I bet one of those guys was underneath my thing and he released his gases and his gases killed me even though I wasn't even in the water. Oh, that's so frustrating. That sort of thing is... Uh, okay. Okay, so let's go get as much titanium as we can, basically. Because we're going to need titanium and stalker teeth. So, obviously, stalkers are over here. Um, and I don't know how to get stalker teeth aside from just beating the crap out of stalkers, so I'm assuming that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, don't worry, this is not Jeremy, so you don't have to worry about that. Jeremy doesn't live over here. Come back here! Come back here! I will repair you! <laughs> get back here! I keep accidentally pulling out my repair tool. Ow! Ow! Poison! Poisoned! Okay, so this stalker is dead. I think. Or something. Mostly dead? Completely dead. I don't know. This, this doesn't seem like it's getting me stalker teeth. The heck do you get stalker teeth? I don't know about you guys, but I don't think that's working. Let's see. Stalkers play with metal salvage and lose their teeth. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. So, oh, hey, look. Some metal, metal salvage. Oh, hey, look. Full inventory. Well, at least I can make, make some ingots already. Let's just make the ingots that I need now so that... Or the ingots that I can right now. So that way I'll have more inventory space. And with more inventory space comes the ability to do more things. So let's see. So Trauma says, it's time for us to watch you murder that animal and mutilate it. Nemo is going to have PTSD. <laughs> hey, I was just doing what I thought had to be done. And I might add a very logical thing to think that if I kill the, if I kill the big monster fish with the teeth and then harvest his corpse, then you should get teeth from him, right? Like, that's how literally everything else in this game works, is you kill it and or beat it with a knife, and items pop out of it. So for it to be the only thing in the whole game that's like, nah, you don't you don't kill this thing with, the, with your knife, you just... It's kind of weird. It's kind of random and weird. Okay, so you're saying that that metal salvage, there theoretically should be some stalker teeth around it, but I didn't see anything like that. There's a stalker. Okay, all right, the stalker has the has the metal. He has the metal. Now we just wait for him to wiggle it around. Wiggle woggle it. Okay, he wiggle woggled it and he dropped it. Okay, I don't see no stalker teeth. I was lied to! There is no stalker teeth here! I think my plan to kill the stalkers and take their teeth forcibly from their mouths makes more sense. Oh, wait, is that one? Got it! Inventory's full, but I got it! Hey, hey, leave me alone, man. I'm just trying to steal your teeth, that's all. 
Hey, can you can you lose more teeth for me? I I really appreciate it if you lost more teeth. It's kind of a weird thing, but I it's just necessary, okay? So you're just gonna have to work with me, all right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Such problem says runs stalkers into extinction. Doesn't even get teeth. Uh, Emily Harris says Nathan the tooth fairy. School wizzy dropped a tooth. Someone gets some fan art of Nathan with a pair of pliers. I, I, I'd be totally into that if, if someone drew me as either the tooth fairy or uh, or just holding a pair of pliers standing next to somebody, next to a monster trying to take his teeth. I, either one of those, totally fine with it. Dude, don't even start with me, okay? I've had a long day. I just need your teeth. That's all, all right? Cut it out, dude. All right, well, let's go see if there's another stalker somewhere else because I kind of get the feeling that that uh, maybe I'm not going to get much more teeth out of that one. Okay, let's see. You'd think that I would have found more teeth in this game in general if that's all it was, is that they, they just wriggle and jiggle and s until a tooth falls out, but... I've only found one tooth one other time. I can't remember where I found it. I think I just found it in on the ocean floor randomly. So, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop a gel sack because i got plenty of gel sacks and pick up a metal salvage. We're going to head back to the ship uh, and... Oh, hey, look. Did he lose a tooth when he played with that one? Nope. No tooth losing. Dude, this is not... This takes forever. It says I'm working. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We got... Uh, DNA says, I'll try to make the fan art. Uh, Social Element says, offer him some hard canes, tell him to chew, give him a jawbreaker, uh, or near corn. Uh, Emily Carrison says, or near corn. Uh... Uh, so someone says, or meth. <laughs> Dave Graves says, well, guy goes, fun hang out for a while. Thanks for stopping in, Dave. It was cool. And Adam Lyle, welcome to the stream. That's cool. Um, we're working on the Cyclops. That's what we're going to be doing right now. Um, but you know how that can be. So uh, we, we've got we've to gotta get stalker teeth. But unfortunately, we're not having a lot of luck as far as that is concerned. So, you know, we'll see. Um, meanwhile, I just read that our base is out of energy, which I don't understand. Oh, okay. We ran out of things in here. Okay. Alrighty. So the thing to do right now is store a couple things and then put some food in there. Well, I'm not able to put anything in any of these things. Gosh dang it, we are just full up. But at least power is restored now because the sun's coming up. But it's not entirely restored. Okay, so, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Let's see about... <laughs> I'm just going to use the... Use a sea moth to store the things for a second here. Use that as our opportunity. And then we can run over here and break down some of this metal now uh, into un unpower. It just said power restored. It said power restored. You all know it. Okay. Drink of water. Grab a lantern fruit. Eat the lantern fruit instead of using it for what I was trying to use it for. There we go. That's a good job, me. Me is so good at this. Me is so awesome. Aw, uh, yeah, me. Keep up the me, me work, me. Okay, so now we got our... For those of you who don't know the heck's going on, we are putting food in our bioreactor so that it'll start creating more electricity again. All right, fabricator, basic materials, titanium ingots, titanium, titanium. Okay, let's see. Social says Frank is going to die. Uh, Adam Lyle says, I've heard since he was working on the Cyclops last I saw. Uh, Earth, uh, Dan X says, no, not Frank. And then uh, Squibble says, why is the water brown in the moon pool? Uh, Emily Harris says, going power crazy. 
uh, Dnx says, well, I assume he doesn't have a bathroom in his base. That's why the water is. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's a share. Oh, and, and so someone says Sharon is poisoning the water. Sharon probably is poisoning the water. I believe that it's likely that, uh, that that is the case. Really, it was just the angle of the sun was affecting the color of the water, which is funny. Actually, this is Frank Leafy over here. Um, that was uh, actually Frank Leafy. Uh, his wife Fern's offspring up there. All four of those are are Fern Junior, Juniors, Fern Juniors. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so, okay. So we need a little bit more titanium for our titanium ingots. And my mustache is really bothering me today for some reason. I'm like this close from just shaving it all off. Just no more beard, no more mustache for a little while. <sighs> okay, plasteel ingots. That's what we're here for. So we're here for we're here for the plasteel ingots. Okay, so we need more lithium and a little bit more titanium in order to have enough. Uh, so there's some more titanium. Uh, there's some more lithium. Uh, anything in here? We got some titanium. Uh, on top of the titanium, we got some more lithium. Uh, okay, any more lithium? No more lithium here. Uh, th nope, that's lead, not lithium. I need lithium. So yeah, we're going to need one more lithium. I'm not sure that I have the one more lithium that I need, which is be really irritating because we're so close. <sighs> okay, uh, Jenix says, gosh darn it, Sharon, and it would be pretty weird to see without all that, without all that facial hair. Yeah, I, I, look, I look pretty different. I look pretty different. I look a little less ginger without all of my... My beard and mustache and everything, because that's really a lot redder than the rest of my hair. So, okay, so we're gonna go to the other area, uh, not the other. Area, go to the. Uh, I'm not scanning for Rex anymore. Can I scan for Stalker teeth? There we go. That might be helpful. So we're gonna go over to where all of my other storage is, and we're gonna pray that there's at least a lithium over there so I don't have to go looking for a whole nother lithium. And then the other thing that we need to do... How much room we got? Okay, cool. The other thing that we need to do is get stalker teeth and quartz. So that's that's pretty high on the list. Lithium! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very, very excited about that. Uh, that's what we actually needed, so... It's cool that there was some in these completely useless or generally completely useless containers. Don't usually find anything I actually need in these ones anymore. Uh, okay, more lead. Okay, ion cubes. I'm taking it. Well, no, I won't take an ion cube with me right now. I just remembered recently I was like where I finally actually needed an ion cube. So I was very frustrated that I didn't have one with me. Uh, okay, so there's uh, like a bajillion stalker teeth right over there, and I need a couple, so... Ah! Stop it! Uh, so, let's just go grab those really quick. And then we just need to go get a whole bunch of quartz. Like, a lot of quartz. Okay. So we might as well just stock up. No! Nah! <laughs> and then we'll store them so that the next time we need, uh any enameled glass, which, I, you know, I'm not, I don't know why we haven't really needed very much so far, but I know that we have needed some before, so right, the next time we need some, it'll be there. Okay, let's see, where are we headed to? We are headed that -er way, because theoretically I might even have uh, everything I need now except for the quartz. So, stalker teeth, put them away. Okay. And then put away some of the extra copper, the lead, the titanium. Uh, okay, don't need the uranite. Okay, so we need one lubricant, three plasteel ingots, and three enamel glass. So, we just need enough quartz now to make the glass. And then we are done, skis. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, Cyclops AI should be named Jarvis. Uh, so Shalom says, a fun fact, uh, lithium is my favorite element. Amla says, Nathan Blake Games, I need to have 
uh, I see you have some HyperX headphones. What type are they? Are they new? They are brand new. They are the HyperX Cloud 2. They are the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. Um, Subtle Trauma says, yes, yes, this Element Atomic 3 symbol, L-I. Uh, M says he agrees with the Jarvis thing. Subtle Trauma says, comes after helium in the second element in group one. I'm a chemist. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you can share the things that you enjoy with us, uh, Social Omelette. Um, and I think it's totally cool that you have so much information about it. Uh, I, I'm a bastion of useless information myself, so it's cool whenever people have like information that could actually be useful to somebody and helpful to someone. Because I'm always like, yeah, I've just got a whole lot of information that no one cares about or would ever want to know. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I might as well break these apart, make sure that there's not any silver that I might want before long in there, because that's definitely something that I struggle find struggle with finding in this game is silver. So if you see the sandstone outcrops, might as well go after it, right? Okay, I know I'm going to need a lot more quartz than what I have now, because I think it's two or three for one piece of glass so I'm definitely gonna need a bunch okay come here fishies come here fishies yeah, I guess this game just really didn't want you to have to think too much about the fact that you're killing the fish because you know when you cook a fish it just kind of scans the fish and he looks identical and whenever you like you don't harvest meat from bigger fish which is something I would have totally expected especially considering the fact that you know we've all played uh some survival games in, in the past where you just kind of just kind of pick them up and chow down, you know? All right, there we go. We got a cooked peeper. We got ourselves a couple raw peepers we can use later on. Um, any quartz in this hole? Quartz! Quartz! I don't see any quartz! But maybe in here, I know there's some quads in here sometimes, uh, at least in this section. There we go. Ah, there's one. Yeah, yo. Got ourselves some quads. And then we can come in here, and this is where there are actual monsters. And ah! No, 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 Real close. Real, real close. That was a, that was certainly an experience. All right. I. Oh, hello. Uh, excuse me, I'm not, I'm not really here to do any, oh gosh, okay, I think we might have enough quartz now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say what we do, let's see, uh, what do we got here in the chat, we got, uh, uh let's see, it's cause Squibble was asking if it was an element, but yes, I'm also full of garbage information, no, 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 I was just saying your information was useless, I was saying your information is awesome, mine is useless, so Tom says uh, that fish just evaporated. Uh, Adam Lyle says there's a single line from Adventure Time that describes my knowledge. I have approximate knowledge of many things. That's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was, that was pretty great. Yeah, in, in Adventure Time, I think the character has approximate knowledge of everything, and so it knows, like, where they are approximately, and so it keep like, they're hiding, and it keeps, like, jumping out to get them, but he can't actually catch them. And he's, it's, I think he's talking to Finn, and isn't, isn't he? And he's all like, I have approximate knowledge of many things, Fran the human. <laughs> Which is pretty delightful. How did you almost know my name? <laughs> okay, one more plasteel. And then... Uh, the CNR, welcome to the stream. And then let's see, we got uh, Emily Harrison says, so it's pretty light there. I always assumed it was poisonous because there is lithium in batteries and no one should eat a battery. Uh, so Chalmers says, well, most of the danger in batteries comes from the high acidity. The lithium can explode if it forms a bridge internally. Also, you don't want to eat too much acid because it will literally eat through your stomach lining if, if it's stronger than your stomach acid. Turns out the stomach's pretty well balanced, and you don't want to play with that balance. Okay, let's see. Nope. I know I've got a whole bunch of stalker teeth around here somewhere. Okay, how many quarts do I still need? Ah, I still need two quarts. Gosh darn it. Okay, back, back into caves to see if we can find more quarts. Okay. 
Man, I was so sure that we had more. I thought we had six quarts, but apparently we have four quarts. Ha! <laughs> we have four quarts. We had a whole gallon. <laughs> oh, sorry, I deserve to choke and die after that bad of a joke. Um. Okay, I don't see. Aha, there's some more quarts. That's the thing is like we don't really need more quarts now. I don't think because we finally have enough. But uh, we're gonna need them before long. Eventually, eventually we'll need more. Just, just like our stalker teeth. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should store them with the stalker teeth, and that can be the glass container or something. The vault of glass. <laughs> uh, the vault of glass because it's a, it's a reference to to the raid in Destiny called the Vault of Glass, but I'm talking about a literal vault, like a container filled with glass and glass paraphernalia. Oh, yeah. A name of glass. Oh, yeah. Okay, what do we what do we got now? What do we have now? We have two enameled glass. No, we have three enameled glass. We did it! We did it! We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. So I see him. Okay. I think we have everything we need to make the Cyclops now, which is super exciting. So the next thing that we really need to do after we get the Cyclops done is build the rocket thing. And then we have to figure out the heck we get un... un... Because the Neptune escape rocket will be next, I suppose, which we have everything we need for that, too. Okay, so I need three lead and an advanced wiring kit, which I think I should have what I need for that. I'm not, I don't remember for sure, but uh, let's see. I need a wiring kit and a computer chip. Man, I need so many things. Ugh. Okay, so first I need one more silver. I do not remember if I have any silver. I probably don't because I never do. Uh, there's some lead. I'm going to need some more gold for the computer chip. Uh, there's more lead. There's some br uh, table coral, which I also need for the computer chip. Uh, okay. That's salt. I don't need salt. More lead, more table coral. Oh, okay, uh, what's in this one? I uh, already checked that one. Didn't check the inside one in this one, so let's double check that. Let's see, what, what we got here going on? Uh, Real Acid Ninja, welcome to the stream! Uh, let's see, Social says, and then you'll have to eat a billion Tums. Ah, <laughs> uh, Let's see, people talking about jokeception. What wouldn't jokeception be a joke inside of a joke? Uh, Adam Lyle says, by the way, social media, the approximate knowledge thing is apparently a demon cat. I've only seen the episode once or twice, so I looked it up. Uh, social media says, someone start writing down all Nathan's puns. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, Emily Harrison says, an inside joke. Uh, I think she's saying that a joke inside of a joke would be an inside joke, <laughs> which is a great pun in and of itself. I like it. Very much like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make our... Uh, see if we can make our... Okay, we need copper wire. We don't have any copper ore with us because all of our copper ore is back at the other... At the house. Uh, where the heck is my sea moth? Why did I leave Jenkins over there? Oh, well. We'll, we'll go get Jenkins later. We'll get Jenkins after we have a Cyclops. We won't need Jenkins anymore after that, right? Ah! <laughs> uh, let's see. Social Mom says, which is in and of itself an inside joke, which is a paradox. Yeah, I'd agree with that. That is a pretty... you got a joke that's inside a joke about inside jokes that's an inside joke, and therefore it's a, a, a joke paradox. I like it. It's very good. Okay, so now we're going to search for sandstone chunks because that's going to tell us where we can find the silver that we require. Um, now that we're in here, uh, we can take out the copper or Ooh, we have an advanced wiring kit. Yes! Forgot about that. That's so helpful. Okay, if we have the advanced wiring kit, then we require very few things before we can actually make the Cyclops... Ah, we require nothing! Nothing, I say! Nothing! 
They can't stop us now, ladies and gentlemen. They can't stop us now. Also, we were land surfing again. We don't get to land surf very often anymore. Okay, so uh, we're going to go over there and create the Cyclops. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We have people talking about things being puntacular and uh, paradoxical and a, and a punadox. And then too many puns breaking the system. <laughs> I like it. Very well done, everyone. I enjoy all of your puntastic pun pontification. <laughs> uh, you're all pontificating. What? You are a load of garbage, Sharon! Sharon, I don't know what's wrong with you, but if you... Ah, <laughs> uh, after all that, come on! Okay, so we're gonna have to pack up the mobile storage thing. Okay, well that one can hold copper in it. It'll have quite a bit of copper. Um, titanium, gold, uh, okay. Let's see, there's a couple more around here somewhere that I can store things in. Open storage. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's put some gold away, some silver away. Uh, magnetite, ruby. Uh, I don't need an extra repair tool. Don't need the table coral right now. I probably have too many batteries, but, yeah, what the heck. Okay, let's see. Where is that thing? There it is! Alright, Sharon, you better not complain next time. I'll show you what I think if you do. Okay, so right here is about as deep as I, I can imagine it would need to be. <laughs> That's pretty great, though. There we go. Okay, Sharon. Oh, come on, Sharon! No, no, no. No, stop it! No! <sighs> okay. Okay. All right, well, we're just, we're just gonna go way out here, I guess. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, Emily Harrison says, luckily some knockout is water so you can contain the dissolved universe. Emma says, Sharon doesn't like competition with Jarvis. So Thomas says, Sharon, you worthless piece of technology. She sabotaged the stream earlier. And yeah, is the universe soluble in water? Salt is so may, um, so maybe the universe is just salt. School was says, Sharon is plotting against us all. Emily Harrison laughs. Adam Miles says, I still think the Cyclops would be better called SS Ginger Beard than it, when it is built. <laughs> Uh, that is pretty good. The yeah, SS Ginger Beard. Okay. I'm going to assume that this is deep enough. And if it's not, then me and Sharon are going to have some words, okay? Come on, let's go. Rise! Rise! Oh my gosh, Sharon! What do you want from me? No, stop it! This water's so deep. It's so deep. Okay, so we're gonna take the, we're gonna take Jenkins and we're gonna go way out. We're gonna go find some really, really deep areas. Ugh, it's so frustrating. So Solomon just started singing You Raise Me Up, which is kind of great. You raise me up. Okay. So clearly there has to be deeper areas than this. This isn't even 100 meters deep. So let's sail out and see if we can't find an area that's at least 100 meters deep. Whoa, hey, that just, <laughs> that just showed up out of nowhere. Okay, here we go. This is deeper. A lot deeper. Okay, I'm assuming 100 meters is good enough, right? Like, like, wouldn't you think so? Okay, here we go. Right here. 
All right, mobile vehicle bay. And then we'll just pull Jenkins away a little ways just so it's not going to be a jerk to us about that. Be like, oh, Jenkins is too close. Uh, let's see. Uh, Wolfie's LPs, welcome to the stream. Says she's a, such a needy build station. Emily Harrison says, so I can walk on water. Adam Lyle says it might have been in the vines. Women, am I right? So Shalom says, JK, JK, that's a joke. Let's relax. Emily Harrison says, the fast backtrack. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get to the surface and then find my mobile station. Okay, the water is so deep here that I could barely figure out even where I put my mobile station. So this has to be deep enough. It just has to be. Okay, thank God. All right, is everyone ready? Because we finally did it. 40 foot sub for one. <laughs> no, it's just me. Just me. No one else. Uh, Adam Lyle says, if she doesn't build it here, she is seriously sabotaging. Maze says, it's pretty new from you. can build it right next to your base. Welcome, Maze. No, that's the problem, Maze. It specifically wouldn't let me build it anywhere else but over here. It kept telling me that the water was too, uh, the water was too shallow. I had to come out here where the water was more than 100 meters deep in order to actually build it was extremely frustrating. All right, welcome to the SS Gingerbeard. We have a state-of-the-art system. Absolutely state-of-the-art. All right, no vehicle docked. Oh, that's right, I can dock Jenkins, can't I? Okay. Well, dang. I had a, how do I make this thing engine offline? Oh. Okay, engine powering up. All right, that's cool. I like that. All righty. Okay, well, this is this is pretty neat. Um, I don't... Okay, how do we go down? Does anyone know how to go down on this thing? I don't know how to... I don't know how to go down. Does this thing go down? That's up! I don't want to go up, I want to go down! Uh, let's see. Social Thomas says, maybe you're a lucky duck. Also, Sharon is, uh... Okay, let's see, we've got, uh, So Cool from Genetics. Oh, wow, it's like SpaceX made a submarine, so Shaman says. Wolfie's LP says, it's alive! Uh, May said, I did it, so. But grads to your SS ginger beard. Uh, so Shaman says, baby, you're a lucky duck. Also, Sharon sabotaged us. She wanted to bring out us out here to kill us. Gobo says, is the AI going to be Jarvis? Adam Lyle says, you should be able to name it over to your right. Name it? Brig for silent running. Okay, I don't see any, any, any naming. Okay, so uh, I assume if spacebar ascends, that a button should descend, but I don't know which button that would be. Oh, there we go, C. Wow, that, that descends very quickly. Okay, so we're going to go over and get Jenkins. And then once we get Jenkins, what's going on? Why are, it's like something booped me on top. That was super weird. All right, once we get Jenkins, then we'll be able to continue onward. I'm not really sure, uh, what was that? What, what, oh, something's close to the rudder, I guess. I'm not really sure what we should do next now. I guess we can build the, the space craft. Oh, come on, Sharon! Leave me alone, okay? Uh, ugh. Sharon. She just wants us all to lose. Uh, so Shama says, I have to go in evening class. Gotta, gotta, gotta get out of here. I love each and every one of you, just so you're aware. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. 
I appreciate you being here, and uh, we'll hope to see you again soon. Okay, so now we can go and use our beautiful... Um, oh, no vehicle dock. Oh, that's how you get to another vehicle if you have one docked. Okay. Okay. Disembark! Okay, where are you... Okay, and there we go. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love that. That's awesome. Also makes it way faster to get out of this thing. So, open decoy loading tube? Oh my gosh, Sharon. You literally, what does a drive? The drive shaft's just here, just like right where I can like get my face destroyed by it at any point. Cyclops upgrade fabricator. Uh, engine efficiency, decoy tube, thermal reactor module. Okay, so we got some cool things there. Okay. So, I guess the really the thing to do now is to go ahead and build the, um... Uh, uh... Build the thing. We want to build the thing eventually. The landing pad, that's right, the landing pad. But after that, we have to figure out how to find the Sea Emperor. I don't know how to do that. I really don't. Like, I've, I've been told that we need to find the Sea Emperor, but I don't know how. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? I'm almost as big and awesome as you are. Oh, my gosh, there's so much sandstone. Oh, the drugs. My brain can barely comprehend how much sandstone there is on the screen right now. <laughs> Ah, la 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 Oh, Emily Harrison says deep C diving, like the letter C, because you have to put the C key to... Whoops. Well, that certainly happened. Must not have been too bad for the integrity of the vehicle, because it seems like it's... No! Get out of the way, ocean floor! I'll show you. All right. Thanks, Jarvis. All righty. So now we have officially created our Cyclops. Um, got a lot of cool stuff taken care of and ready to go. Thank you, Janice. Okay. So now, it's just about finding the Sea Emperor. I'm going to get some water first and some food. Um, you know, cook peeper. Got to gotta cook a peeper. A peeper, peeper, peeper. Uh, let's see. Adam Miles says, blow your horn when you're near a reef back. Uh, Scuba Wiz says, I know how you find the Sea Emperor, but, I sh but it should be a surprise. Emily Harrison said, well, maybe there's a sea court where you can petition the, sea the Emperor for an audience. That's probably it. I assume that's the one. Um... Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that I'd love to uh, find the Sea Emperor the right way, but I don't even know how to start to find the Sea Emperor the right way. Like, it seems like I should have already had some sort of run-in with it at this point, but no, nah, nothing. Not a single lick of, of pertinent information to be had about it. So it's kind of like, huh, all righty. Wow, that thing's big! Well, that thing fit in my moon pool? I gotta find out if this thing can fit in my moon pool. Oh, it won't. Okay, I was like, I, I know I've seen other people's are, are colors. So, but I see. We gotta... There we go. And then we're just gonna make it... Have like an orange stripe. It's kind of difficult to make it really orange. Okay, there we go. That's that's more orange. Oh, I see. It's because that that's not turned all the way up. Okay, yeah, orange stripes, and then let's see. What's what's gonna be the opposite of this turquoisey color? It's gonna be, uh, let's see, a yellowy color, an orangey color that's closer to red, I think. And then we'll go ahead and name the ship the SS. Ginger beard. 
Which really, you when you think about it, means that the whole ship should really be more ginger beardy uh, with the bright stripes on it as opposed to the other way around. So, the SS Ginger Beard! Looks like the ginger beard's in good condition. So, all right. Uh, floodlights on and off. Which is which? Okay, good. All right. Turn the lights off so it's not wasting batteries while it sits here. Like, that seems like a, a dumb idea. Squibble says, okay, clue, the lava zone. That's actually a really big hint. Well, it would be if I knew the heck a lava zone was. So, there it is, the SS Ginger Beard. It looks a little more like a yellow submarine than I would have wanted it to, but uh, that was coincidental. So, alrighty. And maybe, you know, the, this game has, has been pretty good about... I can't believe I... Ah, poop. Ah, poop. I'd, I'd left my my portable base or my portable vehicle maker out there. I don't even know really where I was. It's just this direction-ish. Okay, well, that's a pain. Let's go find that. Hello, large whale friends. Just gonna swoop right over ya. Um, we may have lost our mobile base creator or our mobile vehicle creator. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a whoopsie. Oh no, it's over here. It is over here. Cause it was it was in it was pretty close proximity to that puppy right there if I remember correctly. Cause I came over here and this is where the water really drops out and you get the, the mushroom forest or whatever it is. So I think it's around here. There it is! I found it! I found it! Woo! Okay, that could have been way worse. Okay, now. We'll pack that puppy up, enter the sea moth, head back towards the base. Although I might as well build the rocket. Well, no, that's that's a bad idea. I was thinking I could build the rocket over by the ba the gun. Have that all centrally located, but at the same time, that seems like I'd have to do a lot of back and forth at some point. So maybe we'll hold on for that. So. Squibblewes says that uh, telling you where the lava zone is is a is kind of difficult to do. So, okay. I'm going to take off my socks. I am getting very warm. It's getting warm in my house, but uh, I'm, I don't run the air conditioner whenever I'm recording or streaming so that you guys don't uh, have to listen to the sound of that. These socks don't like to come on and off very much. There we go. Whew, much better. Whoo. <laughs> the SS Ginger Beard. I can't believe it actually says that. Oh, uh, it's great. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's great. Okay, so now we're back over here towards the base. Hello, friend. Um, so we'll come over here where the where this really drops off because I have a feeling it's also going to want it to be deeper wherever I put it this time. So. There we go, that should be good. Go ahead and release it. And now we can see what all exactly we're going to need for for it. Because I know that we had a lot of the things that we needed, but not everything by any means. So, let's see. Titanium ingots, computer chip, and a bunch of lead. So, I'm pretty sure we have the lead. Ah. Should be some lead back at one of my houses, at least. So let's go see what we can find. I think I put some in one of these containers when I was over here last. I'll just leave that puppy there so my flash, uh, so that my headlights will help me out. Okay, so we need titanium for sure. We're getting gold. Uh, okay. Uh, I think.
think I'm going to need some copper. Not 100% sure there, but more titanium. Okay. Uh, alrighty, what do we have in this one? This one has silver. Got some table coral, more gold. Um, what do you have in you? You've got a little bit of lead, tiny bit of lead. Okay. And then what about in here? Do we have anything in here? Uh, nope, nope, nope. A whole lot of nope. You know what, Sharon? You can back off. Okay. Double check on what I need. I don't know. Where's... Where where is it in here? Where is it in my blueprints? In my blueprints, my blueprints. Uh, Neptune launch platform. Okay, two titanium, four lead, one computer chip. So let's see if we can make the computer chip. Uh, we're copper wire short, uh, so we got the copper wire here. So there's our computer chip. Okay. Now, we are going to need uh, two titanium ingots, so I need a big old pile of that. I'm pretty sure I have some over in the other base. Uh, there you are, Jenkins. Jenkins! The house is right over there. So we'll head over to the house and see if we can't find anything helpful... Any titanium, lead, anything like that. See what happens there. Uh, Scooby says, here are the coordinates, I think, for the lava zone. Okay, well, I think you can check coordinates by hitting baby Tilda or, or going to the console or something, but I'm not sure for sure. <laughs> so, that may or may not be helpful. Okay, I do need to get a little bit of food from our leafy friends. Because I need food and water really badly. So, grab that really quick. Uh, okay, so now I need titanium. Lots of titanium because I'm going to need to make a couple of those. And I'm going to need lead. It may be possible that I... I've got the lead I need exactly enough! <laughs> okay, so I need two titanium ingots. And that's it. So then we'll be able to build the thing. And then I'm sure I have to build a rocket on top of that. I'm, I'm sure that... Oh, do I not have a... Am I three short? Are you serious? I'm three short after all that... Three short on titanium. The one thing... I have exactly three! <laughs> yes! Nothing will stop me! Okay. So, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Now we can head out here. And we can... Uh, just glide on over... base thing. There it is. Let's just head over that way real quick. Go ahead and grab this bladder fish while we're I do out of electricity. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I do a pretty good job keeping keeping charged batteries on me at all times so that I never really have to worry about that. Okay. Whoops, nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay, well that's one way of getting on it. <laughs> Neptune Escape Rocket Launch Platform. Alrighty, well, that looks like they're going to do it. That looks like it's going to be a thing, so we'll see about that. Oh, it looks like the bit rate's really dropped, which is not good. That's not good. That's not a good... I wonder why. It seems really strange. Uh, 
Okay, well, that certainly made a little bit of a ruckus. Climb the ladder. Here we go, guys. We did it. We built the rocket launching pad. So now all we have to do is look to, okay, plastiling it, copper wire, and lubricant is what we need to make the gantry for it. So that's going to require, uh, I don't remember what goes onto a plastil ingot for some reason. That's, that's certainly a question. Okay, I'm going to double check. It looks like maybe we're not, looks like a stream might be having some trouble. Yep, that looks like that's a problem. Why is it behaving like that? Wasn't having problems before necessarily, so the real question is what changed? Oh, is it the lighting that was the problem? Lighting was causing a problem with the bitrate? I mean, that makes sense to some extent. I know that movement causes a problem with the bitrate. Hey, well, I'll lean back like this. It looks like maybe it's going to help with it. Okay. Hopefully that's beneficial to the bitrate because it looks like... Uh... See, it's all puns. I told you the system was breaking, and then, oh gosh, those puns must have had an effect on the stream. Okay. It looks like maybe the stream is back to normal now. Um, perhaps it... Perhaps it will survive. Pull up the chat again on my phone. See if that's... Okay, it looks much better now. Definitely looks much better now. Okay. Cool, cool. Alrighty, well, I don't mind leaning back a little bit. Apparently leaning back is important for the lighting on the stream at this exact moment. For some reason, it is literally affecting the bitrate. Being too close to the camera, the camera was all like, What's going on?! So, anyway, all right, so we got to have a plasteel ingot and a <clears throat> copper wire and a lubricant. So, uh, I can definitely get a good handful of those without even doing anything. Uh, what's my inventory look like? Okay, so I'm, I need to grab a few pieces of metal and some lubricant from over here. Because over this way should be an area where I can get metal fragments and lubricant. Yeah, here we go. Much better. People are saying things like, she's stabilizing, Captain, and much better in the, uh, in the chat. So, good to know, good to know. Okay, we can grab ourselves some, some, uh, Creep find cluster seeds. That's not what I need, right? I need... Oh, that's right. You make lubricant out of creep find cluster seeds. That's right. Okay. So a couple of those. Uh, grab myself some metal salvage. Calm down, stalker. I'm not here for... I'm not here to mess with you. Not here for a fight. And any more metal fragments? Usually they're around here everywhere. So why am I having trouble finding them now when I need them? Cause reasons. You think what it take, Sharon? Sharon, you're always telling me what I need to be doing, but you're never, like, helpful as far as, like, helping me do it, you know? You're always... 
that's that's the that's the problem. Like if our relationship wasn't so one sided, if it wasn't you just telling me to do things but actually helping me with things, then maybe I wouldn't be so frustrated with you. But instead, Sharon, you just constantly just telling me what I need to do, but not offering any any support or assistance with it. Okay, so it's it's it, it hurts. It hurts. I don't think I need two of those, so I could drop one of those and pick that up. I really am impressed that the bitrate was so affected by the lighting and me sitting too close to the camera. So, yeah, that's real strange. Although I think it has to do a lot with my computer right now as well. My computer has been acting really strange today. Um, I think perhaps uh, the Windows has been running a lot of things behind the scenes and it's been making things run poorly. Because Windows is a jerk. A big jerk, like the biggest of jerks. Titanium ingots. Okay, so now, uh, plastil, I need a lithium. So, do I have a lithium in my, like, that I can get to right now? Uh, lithium? There's no lithiums that I can get right now. No. Um, okay, gotta grab some food. Uh, let's see. Harvest a couple Chinese potatoes and eat those puppies. Okay, and plant. So we'll get a new Chinese potato plant there. Um, and we're going to go ahead and switch out my one bad battery for a good battery. Okay, so there's that. Uh, okay. Still need to find lithium, so I don't know why I'm looking at that. That didn't make any sense for me to do. Okay. So I guess the question becomes right now is, is there any lithium kicking around anywhere else in the world? Um, oh, that's my rocket pad. I was like, the heck is that symbol? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 Nope, see Daisy. No, see Daisy. Still a lot of nope. Whole lot of nope. Only whole lot of nope. I think I'm gonna need a couple more copper anyway, so I'll grab those while they're here. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm afraid I'm gonna actually have to go find lithium. Very frustrating. Yep, but at least I have one, so I should be able to, uh... Have one, so I should be able to use my base and search for it, like I did with the sandstone chunks and the stalker teeth and stuff like that, so... Maybe we'll find it pretty easily. Um, where does lithium come from? Is that some sandstone? Does lithium come from sandstone? I can't remember. I really, really can't remember. Oh, Squibblewiz has got to go. Bye, Squibblewiz. Have a good one. Okay, let me see if... Okay, lithium... Okay. Seabed and shale outcroppings. Okay. Okay. So not standstone. Uh, heat area, limestone, cave sulfur, creature egg, a data box, metal, silver, rex. Darn it. So lithium isn't something I can even search for on there. And I only know of one place that I've ever discovered 
uh, lithium that, like, in abundance that I remember, and it was the island with the gun. So I guess I have to go all the way to the gun island, which is kind of okay, because I, I needed to needed to figure out my, uh, how to get my thing back anyway. No, stop grabbing the mushrooms and grab the stick of fish! Okay, let's see, more filtered water, so I'll probably go for another 20 minutes or so, go ahead and call it an afternoon for the stream, uh, especially between, uh, we pretty much finished what we set out to do today already, so everything else is just, uh, you know, gravy, as it were, so uh, let's store some titanium in here. Especially with how warm it's getting in here, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to be able to go much longer without turning on the air conditioner, so. Uh, I definitely need to clear out my inventory some more. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Oh, I forgot to double check my storage on here because I definitely put some things in here. I put first aid kits. Okay. Just for day kit, that's all. Okay, so we'll get over to the, to the island, see if we can't find any more lithium, and then we'll go from there. Um... I don't know, kind of, not a hundred percent sure what we should do on that front, you know, cause, cause I don't remember, I don't know how to find shale outcroppings. I haven't done that very often in all honesty. So it really just uh, comes down to, you know, is this something I'm going to find randomly just sitting around? Hmm. Okay, Woo -hoo -hoo. whoops, I bonked the microphone. I'm sure you guys enjoyed that. I'm sure that was fun for you. Uh, DNX is awesome stream so far, dude. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Yeah, having a lot of fun. We've, we've got, we've got uh, a lot of progress done, all things considered. Getting the Cyclops actually built and then also getting the, the rocket pad built. Uh, hopefully we can get the gantry built soon, although even if, even if we don't get that done yet, that's, that's totally fine because we've gotten a lot done. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hop out of the ship here because I refuse to bring it any closer because it will get stuck in the island like uh, the other one. I am 100% certain. I was going to say, is he going to keep swimming? Because if he keeps swimming here on the surface, that's going to be delightful. Okay, enter the prawn. Okay, I went to... Uh, Switch power cells. Enter the prawn. Uh, power cell. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. So now that we are online again with our prawn, it's been a little while since we used the prawn. It was it was out of juice for a while. It was, it was unfortunate. Okay. So now we should be able to. Uh, let's just push that back some more and then angle it up. That should help with the, well, it's too much angling. That should help some. And then I'll be able to sit where I want to sit instead of it dictating where I need to be. Okay, so now we got our prawn back. We can do a little bit of gingering here and see if we find any shale here. 
Uh, does anyone know how to, whoops, 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 anyone know how to turn on the headlights in this thing? Because it definitely seems like there should be a way to make it a little brighter. It is dark. Ah! I'm falling! Ah! I don't like that sound. What was that sound? Who made that sound? I don't know who you think you are, but you can't mess with me. I'm too cool. Oh, that's a warper. Let's not go that direction. Yep, let's stay away from that. <laughs> ooh, ooh, floating islands. That seems pretty cool. Uh, what was that noise? Whoa, hey. Hey, back off, son. Sonny Jim. He's diseased. He has a disease. No, he has a painful disease in his face. Okay, alrighty, we're good good over here. Okay. So let's see if we can't find any shale cropping over here. Boy, my whole house is shaking for some reason. That was weird. Alright. Some copper or whoa. Hey. Hey. Hey, back off. Okay, I forgot that my suit has storage on it too. So let's come up here. Now that we have the boosters that we need for it. Boy, the music is really picked up. Um No! Bad! Bad yucky! Okay, let's see if I can find storage. Lead, 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 lead. There's a little bit of lithium, not much, but there's some. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull all of that out. Because um, even though it fills up my inventory, that means I now have inventory space for him. So let's see. Adam Miles says you can store the prawn in the same cargo space that you park the Seamoth in the SS Gingerbread. That's awesome. So I could actually come pick him up with the ginger beard, which would be really helpful. Um, you know, I hadn't thought about it, but uh, our whale friends could have uh, shale outcroppings on them. They have random stuff in their little barnacle bits. So that might be worth checking into. What do we have here? Boy, it's dark. Super, super dark. Stop it! Leave me alone, you jerk! I'm sick of you! I'm sick of you and your garbage. You garbage. What a grief. Last time I was over here, I actually ended up getting snagged by a... Uh, a Reaper Leviathan. Let's just jump down and see what we find, though. All right, we're on the floor here. There's a salt deposit. Stop it! I left. I left, and you chased me, you jerk face. What? Is, that's ridiculous. Who? 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 I don't know about you guys, but this is. I'm, I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared. Ah, it's getting worse. I was still falling. I've fallen so far! Oh gosh. Okay. Stop! Good grief. Those guys will not leave me alone. It's so frustrating. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Alrighty. So this looks like it's probably your night. Yeah. How many times do I have to beat these guys up before they'll leave me alone? Good grief. Like, I'm in a giant robot that's been punching them in the face for like 20 minutes now. They need to give up and move on. What do we got here? Silver ore. 
Silver ore! That's right. Go away. Go get burned up in that fiery abyss, okay? That's what I want for you. That's what you deserve. Oh my gosh. There's such a pain. Okay. Definitely lots of heated areas. But I'm not seeing any lithium like I usually do over in this area. So that's super weird. Um, now, in all honesty, I do usually find it more along this wall than anything else. But I kind of just assumed it was in the whole area. But it might be that it's only, only on the sides of this mountain, basically. some titanium but that's not what we're looking for eh why, why does it keep linking on like where I'm actually sitting instead of actually shooting where I'm pointing don't make don't make any sense it's not helpful just have to recharge some of our boosters for a second here Ugh. Oh, I've got Monkey Ninja Games asking me if I want to play any Fortnite on his stream. <laughs> well, maybe I maybe I could do some of that in here in here in a little bit after we finished up with this stream. I could lend him some of my time. Okay, copper ore. Boy, we are not having any luck. All right, so I think the thing to do is to go ahead and uh, boop off for now, call it a stream, turn on my air conditioner, because I literally can't stand the heat any longer. Um, which I think a big part of that is that my computer is generating a lot more heat than it normally does. Uh, because it's running so poorly. And then I can try to figure out why my computer is running poorly, because it normally does not. And then after I figured out why my computer is running poorly, I can try to... Uh, I can hop on, maybe hop on the stream with Monkey Ninja and play a little bit of Fortnite with him. And between now and next week's stream, I can go ahead and figure out where to find shale outcroppings. Because right now, I'm just kind of running around, just kind of assuming I'm going to find something eventually, you know? Like, boy, it sure would be nice if there was anything I was looking for right here, right now, you know? What was that? Jerks! Ah, and I'm also so frustrated with those things right now that I don't know that I could could continue. <laughs> like, if I get, a, get attacked by one of those guys one more time, I'm going to show him some righteous fury. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm finding sandstone and limestone here but no shale which i found shale for a while which is why i had li any lithium in the first place um so it seems weird that i'm not finding any of it now but maybe i'm looking in the wrong place that looks like lithium as a oh that's lead okay all right any of these rocks any of you guys feel with all of the tasty things that i need okay nothing Okay, well, see Daisy. What are you? Silver ore. That sounded like it could have been a Leviathan. A reaper Leviathan. Ooh. Hey, he sounds like he's pretty angry wherever he is. Sounds like he's a scary one. Wait, wait, what are you? What are you? Lithium! Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, finally. Found a couple lithium. Okay, it's not... It's not really a... I don't know that it's enough, but at least we know we can find it here in the first place. And then maybe... Diamonds. Uh, uh-oh. Ah! Hello, sir! 
Um, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're okay. I'm not here to mess with you. You're not here to mess with me. Stop it! Alright, back off. Okay. Alright. He teleported away from me. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's just, like, regrouping and coming back to murder me. Let them! It would have to be right here. It would have to be right here. Like, where the teleporter, or where the warpers are. Okay, there he is. And he's, it looks like he's after me. Looks like he's all like, come here, little buddy. I'm all like, nah, nah, it's okay. You stay over there, and you do you, and I'll do me. And we, don't, we, well, well, we won't mess with each other. Oh, thank God. We escaped into here. Well, looks like he's more or less not going to follow us. On the other hand, I don't think I'm going to find any more lithium in here, so that's unfortunate. But this does wind back out, at least. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's, that's helpful. We definitely we, we found some lithium. I, I was starting to give up hope that we would find lithium or shale outcroppings or anything, really. So, the fact that we finally did find find some is actually super awesome. Very impressive. I was starting to think that I went crazy whenever I thought that I could find it here, you know? Okay, so now we just have to get the Iron Maiden all the way back to the other, to, to the base. Come on. Here we go. Okay. You're getting up on the, okay, come on. So close. There we go. All right, we're up on the surface. Woo, okay, that was difficult enough. That was difficult enough. Okay, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy, McGillicuddy. That was crazy. We got that taken care of, though. Okay, I'm just going to real quick reply here to Monkey Ninja. We're going to... Double check our uh, our stream chat because I haven't gotten a chance to look at that for a minute because it's been so crazy trying to avoid the the warper and find the lithium that we were looking for, but we did it eventually. Okay, so I think the thing to do maybe just for time's sake is to actually unload from. Unload the stuff out of the prawn and put it in Jenkins. If I can find Jenkins. Okay, Jenkins is over there. Okay, yeah, I think... I think... I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm going to grab her up some food real quick. I'm going to need some food and some water here, so might as well just harvest it. Oh, oh, he doesn't actually do that. When, when you harvest that way, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so we can put some rubies in there, some magnetite, uh, some silver ore, um, and then we're going to grab out all the lithium, and we're going to grab out lead, some titanium. Um, you know what? I probably am going to need the silver ore and the copper, so we might as well hold on to that. Okay, now we'll come over to... Uh, Jenkins and load things into Jenkins storage and then after we have loaded things into Jenkins storage we'll come back onto the water or the island really quick and we will get our our food and water sorted out with the bulba tree and then we should be prepared and ready to go so okay just store it all store it all all for tomorrow store it all today for all the world to share not all the world it's all mine you stay away <sighs> okay so this is uh frank leafy jr's ancestors over here that we're 
over here harvesting food and water and stuff from. For some reason, the ancestral Frank Leafy Juniors can feed a person a lot more. Like, Frank Leafy Juniors' uh, grandparents and stuff, like, you can keep whacking them and keep getting more and more uh, off of them, so. Boy, the game itself was just lagging really bad. That wasn't even the stream thing. That was the game just being like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we'll take the Seamoth now, and it's got we've got everything we need on the Seamoth, and then we'll be able to um, let's double check that we got what we need. Uh, okay, Plasteel ingots, and the Plasteel ingots require what exactly? Uh, lithium and titanium. Okay, so we've got titanium, we've got lithium. Okay. What else do we need for the gantry? We need copper wire and lubricant. Okay, I've got plenty of copper, and lubricant only requires one creep vine seed cluster, and we have that. So we officially have everything we need for the gantry, so we can go finish the gantry, and then we can call it an episode. And I think that would work out really well, you know, finishing up with the gantry, and then it leaves us with, with a very specific mission on the next episode, which is uh, build the rocket, however you do that, and then find the sea emperor. And then all I have to do is shut off the gun and escape the planet. And that's that's it. You know, we'll have, we'll have done in, in 12 hours what many have not done in 30. So, you know, maybe not, maybe time is not the most important factor here. But I think it's pretty good, pretty cool that we were able to get as far in this game as quickly as we have been able to and I think that we can continue this I think I think it's totally something that we'll be able to continue doing I can't believe that I just ran myself over with my ship like that Jenkins you jerk yeah I just got enough got plenty of metal just now and then at some point I'll need to take uh, the SS Gingerbeard over there and pick up the Iron Maiden off the island. <sighs> okay. Titanium ingots! Plasteel ingots! Okay, so I think I need one more plasteel ingot, and to get that I'm going to need a tiny bit more titanium. I'm going to need eight more titanium. So if I get two more big pieces of metal, which I just passed one, then that should be all I need. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh no, I put that inside of... Never mind, never mind, I put it in Jenkins. Um, I can't remember if I have any titanium in any of these. I doubt I do, but it's always possible that I actually had the titanium ingots I needed made up. I don't remember for sure. Okay, I have straight titanium, so that that's helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need two pieces of titanium. I'm going to need a couple copper ores for my wire that I need to make. So... Two pieces of titanium is almost the only thing that I really still need. And I gotta pull the stuff that I need for the lubricants out of here. Oh, there's one more titanium, so that's that. And then we got got that for the lubricant. Um Okay. Well, I don't have the inventory space right now. So let's find the one piece of titanium that we're gonna need. So I should be able to find a, one of a couple of ways. If there's anything to scan in any of these, then I'll get it. If I find any limestone, I'll find it. Uh, if I find another piece of salvageable metal, I'll find it. And there's pretty much just a hundred different ways that I could get the one piece of titanium that I need, but I'm not seeing any of them right now. <laughs> Which is obviously very frustrating. So, let's see. Uh, DJ Amazo says, Hello, I'm new to your channel. Hello, DJ Amazo. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. It's very, very cool. I appreciate you being here. Um, 
If you want to uh, join me on my Twitter, then uh, there should be a link to the Twitter there in the uh, description. So you can keep up with uh, future streams and new episodes as they come out on my channel. I try to do one to two uh, videos every single day. So you can always find some some new content pretty much every single day on that on the channel. I do uh, one to two streams every week. Uh, on YouTube, and we'll be starting a Twitch stream before long, and we'll also be doing some charity live streaming before long as well. We did some charity live streams when the channel first started, but <clears throat> didn't have quite the support for it. So we uh, took a break from it, and now we're getting getting ready to get back into it, really. Um, let's see. Got too much stuff. There we go. I don't need those mushrooms. I didn't even want those mushrooms in the first place. I just kind of got forced forced into it. Uh, let's see. Adam says, I'll just be able to color the prawn in the moon pool. Okay. And then Earthly Gaming DNX says, Welcome to the wonder to this wonderfully awesome channel. Ah, well, thanks. I appreciate you speaking so highly of my channel, DNX. You're, you're a swell guy yourself. Okay, so now we should be able to break this one down into titanium and then turn all the titanium into more plasteel and then, or, or yeah, turn all the titanium into plasteel. <coughs> then all we need is the uh, the lubricants. And once we've got that, I think we're almost done. I can't remember. There's like one more thing that I needed, but I don't remember it being something very difficult to find. It could have been a bunch of lead, which I think I have lead already. So, or maybe it was copper wire. Let's check it out. Okay, gantry, 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 gantry. Copper wire and lubricant. Oh, I only needed one plasteel ingot in the first place. Oh, okay. Well, the spaceship's liable to need some plasteel ingots anyway, so... Okay, let's see. I just made a titanium ingot, didn't I? Oh, I guess I made a titanium ingot and then I immediately made another plasteel ingot? I, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, I did. Yeah, okay. So I've got another plasteel ingot from that. Okay. So now we just have to grab the lube stuff out of Jenkins' storage. Uh, and from doing that, that will be one of the last things that we are required to have before we can make the gantry. And then we'll find out what the rocket requires. And, uh, if it doesn't, if it requires only things that we already have, then that's one thing. But most likely we'll make the rocket in the next one. Uh, DJ says, I found the channel about 10 minutes ago. Just finished Dora's Dead video. Just started to watch another horror game when I suddenly saw you stream and decided to say, oh, well, yeah. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. <coughs> and yeah, I get a lot of decent traffic off of my Dora is Dead video, um, which is funny because it's it's an older one for sure, but I, I am still proud of its quality, even though I've definitely improved since then. So, All right, let's head to the gantry. <coughs> also, excuse me, I'm still recovering from my cough that I had like a week and a half ago. Uh, coughs just really always hang on to me. I, I always take a long time to to take care of them. Uh, let's see. DJ Mazo says, yeah, I just subbed. I'm glad to see future content. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's very kind. That's super cool. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i also planning on doing some more skit-like things and stuff in the future. I just don't have a really good area to, to film skits and stuff in my current setup. So we'll see. All right, construct the gantry, men. Well, that really did make a lot of noise. Okay, let's let's run over there. I guess they're gonna build it, and then it'll have a ladder, and I'll probably build the la the the spaceship on the top, just like the just like I built the gantry up here. <laughs> Wait, I can elevator it before it's even finished. That's fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> okay well i was probably wrong then about the uh the idea of of that so ah! Ah! well that definitely 
was kind of terrifying for a second there. Body is just kind of like, oh no, you're going to die from jumping off of this. No, body, it's a video game. Uh, then DJ Mesa says, BRB, I'm going to go check out the Tunky video. Okay, cool. We'll have fun with that. Yeah, Tunky is a, that, I really enjoyed that game. That was a super, super cool video. Okay, so next is the boosters. We need nickel or aerogel and wiring kits and the plastic ingots that we accidentally made. So that works out really well. Um, yeah, so, well, obviously we don't have nickel ore. An aerogel takes a little bit of work to do, although I think I already have the ingredients for. Wiring kit's not that insane. So really it's the nickel ore that we're looking at, and I don't even remember if I've ever gotten any of that. So we'll go ahead and head back to the base. But likely we'll call the stream here uh, now that we've we've managed that. So the gantry's done, so... Looks like there's just a couple of parts to the rocket to be made. And then other than that, we've, we've got to find the, the Sea Emperor. So once we've made, once we found the Sea Emperor and, and made the rocket, I'm pretty sure that's where we can finish the game. So that's very awesome. Uh, very excited about that. Because uh, so far, Subnautica has been a lot of fun. I really loved it. Um, and I'm also... Uh, Excited to see how, how it kind of plays out. I'm going to just run really quick and make sure that I can't search for nickel. Uh, I don't see nickel anywhere. Let's see if we can find out where nickel even comes from. So let's see. Under the raw materials. La, 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 la. Nickel ore be found uh, in the large resource deposits and on the seabed and it is in the Lost River. And I don't really know where the Lost River is. I don't think I've been there before. So, oh no, I have been there. That was, oh no, I, ah, that was the place I went in the last episode. That was terrifying. I really don't want to go there again, <laughs> but I'm going to need to, and to do it, I think I should get depth modules added onto my prawn, so I think that's really uh, what kind of what we're looking at is in the next episode, getting depth modules and stuff for the prawn, upgrading the prawn so that the prawn's ready for me to go to the deepest depths of the ocean and, and fight in the scariest, worst places, so I guess that's what we're going to look forward to next week. Uh, we'll likely be doing a... Uh, morning stream next week uh, look for about probably 10 a.m. Um, so yeah we'll see see that uh, see how that works out and so for now thank you so much for being here and going on this adventure with me and for hanging out in the stream it was a little quieter stream than we've had uh, recently uh, but I still think that it went well I think that everyone had fun I know I did so yeah, thank you all so much for being here and for uh, for seeing us through. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one for now. This is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Sayonara!